Python installed, all you want to do is import Discord with a lowercase d, and then Discord.exe. Okay, that's pretty simple, wouldn't you think so? I mean, I think it's pretty simple. And we'll do client because that's what most people are use when you're trying to read their code or whatever. It's basically the exact same thing. And then that, and then Okay, so once you have your prefix chosen, all you want to do is do client dot and you need to have an at sign there, async def. And okay, so you have async def there, and whatever your command name is, we'll just we'll just do this test, and you want to pass ct ctx, and then await say, ooh, just kidding, ctx dot send. And I okay, so we ran to our first issue. You do need double quotes there. And to finish it all off, you want to do by client dot run. And you want to put in your token there. Whoa! Just kidding, I had the wrong thing copied. Okay, so let me give you a quick rundown on this. That will be blurred out for you. Okay, so you want to go applications, new application. You wanna give it a name. We'll just say we'll just say name. Okay. So once you give it a name, you wanna it'll automatically open up for you. From there, you want to go bot, and it'll have a button here, apply, or add bot user, something like that. You want to make sure you do that. Uh, there is another tutorial that goes into more detail on a previous video. I'll make sure I have it linked down in the description. I'll have uh, the docs, uh, a nice Discord to go to, like the official Discord. But before you go there, I'm just gonna say read the doc. Just say will not help you. It's pretty. It's pretty like wow. Um, I gave it a picture. Yeah. So, you just want to get your token, copy that, put it into there. It'll be right here. This will be blurred out for you because I don't want people taking over my bot. You want to hit Control F, and we'll just open up a new terminal here. Here. And we'll just do pi dash three dot dot pi. Ooh, our first error. Okay. I forgot an equal sign. It should work now. My bot is a tad slow because of my Wi Fi speed. It should, it should get better tomorrow ish. There should be another video up tomorrow. Unless I just mass record these tonight in case I can't record tomorrow. So while this is getting started up, oh, we don't have a console.log. Okay, so. do is there are two different types of 
clients. Okay, so you have client.command and client.events. So then we are doing the command below and we are going to do the event above. Okay, so like that. Oops, not like that. And we just want to print user is online. From there to there, we're going to fix this. And now we're going to do that, 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 that. Okay. So, as log in. And then we're going to do dot format client. Okay. That is one of the ways to do it. And now if we control C. Close that. See, the easiest way to do it is just to go like that. Easiest way, but I mean, I understand some people don't want to do it that way. And since Visual Studio has it already in there, just do that. Hit enter because sometimes it gets messed up. Pi dash three dash bot dot pi would work just fine. But there we go. And we already see a typo there. Okay, so now we'll launch it in here. Pi dash three dash that. Now. So, what you want to do? Off. Bot. Administrator. Just to make it easier. There, there. You just want to select your server. We'll put it in, I guess, a mod mail server. Why not? Just take. Yes, turn that off. So you just want to verify you're not a robot because I hope you're not a robot watching this. I mean free views but not the kind of views I want. Okay, so select mountains or hills. Fine, there you go. And I think there was one more but it doesn't care. Authorize. Okay, so now we have YouTube bot in here. We're going to go ahead and throw it in there. Oh, no, you guys are seeing all the new and... So, what was our test? 
I am a test bot. Oh no, the web bot has the same prefix as us. Easy peasy, not that hard to change. We'll just do that. Shut it down. Pi uh, bot dot pi. I'm recording why you do this at webbot. And you can see I have one of my one of my main bots right there. That's in JS. Let comment comment below if you want a JS bot tutorial. I'm pretty sure I can get Camp Camp to do it or Aiden or I forget who. Who did the last video today of scraping? It was Aiden. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let me make sure it's logged in. There we go. So now, you just do dash and then test. Oh my god, does it have like every prefix? Oh, so it doesn't have no prefix, it just has every other prefix. I don't want to have like some complicated thing. Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll just do, do that and test. Okay, so. No, we're not doing that. But anyways, you got the point. There's your first bot. Amazing. It has a little bot tag and everything. Ah, uh, you can't see it. Next video, we will set up some more commands, API commands. Uh, we'll send a quick cat meme. Should be pretty good. Okay, this is Ben Zakif, and I'll see y'all tomorrow, or whenever I upload next. Deuces.